in this topic we are going to basically talk about uh, the outcomes of uh, international assignments and uh, uh, we are going to make it a point we are going to discuss that international assignments they are actually useful and they are actually uh, they contribute towards development of the organization as well as of the individuals so uh, one of the outcomes of international assignment is management development uh, management development because individuals they get experience and they can advance in their careers because their exposure is enhanced their experience is enhanced and they get uh, to know different kind of culture and then that, that's why they become more useful for the organization and therefore they grow and they can grow in their careers as well and then uh, the multinational organization it gets cadre of experienced international operators so when organizations these mnes they send people to expatriate assignments they uh, generate a cadre of international operate operators who are able to move and understand the international environment and they are able to manage this international assign uh, uh, environment uh then the outcomes of international assignment is also the organizational development organizational development is the development of the organization the organization learns the organization grows the organization progresses and the career of the organization is something which is enhanced why and how that happens because of the international assignments is it's because the mnes they accumulate knowledge and abilities from different cultures from diverse places uh, mnes and individuals they get a global mindset so when the mindset is enhanced then they are able they they grow from local to global and that is something which is a process of learning and then mne gets direct control and socialization which helps with knowledge transfer and helps the transfer of competence so uh, the socialization process which happens between the parent country nationals and the host country nationals it actually creates a social capital uh, which helps in transfer of knowledge and transfer of competence so therefore organizations which send people uh, to for international assignments and uh, bring people from different countries to work at different places they become networked multinationals and network multinationals they can use international teams as a mechanism for fostering innovation uh, you know that people coming from various different backgrounds and diverse cultures they can innovate in a synergistic way it also becomes a means of breaking down functional and national boundaries therefore enhancing information flow so when people go on different ass assignments their boundaries they become diffused and information is passed on very much easily it is also a method of encouraging diverse decision making problem solving and strategic assessment so you can very much understand that when people from diverse backgrounds they come together they can formulate different ways of decision making it also becomes an opportunity for developing a global perspective this is something that we have talked about many times and it is a technique for developing a shared value therefore helping the multinational with informal normative control through so, uh, through socialization so um, basically when the multinational gets embedded in the host national culture it uh, it gains normative control uh, for example uh, mul uh, the the multinational mcdonalds is something which has become a part of culture although it is a multinational it is american based but it is something which is now uh, a part of culture of our own um, environment and so uh, we talk about uh, uh, that uh, the the products of that organization as the products of our own country and therefore they gain control over uh, the environment through this process of socialization so uh, the multinationals by uh, sending people on international assignments and creating a global network they can achieve all these various different objectives 
so uh, this is something how we can summarize that how do international assignments they are used for developing the staff so you can see that individual development leads to international assignment international assignment also leads to individual development international assignment then uh, leads to a development of international cadre of uh, staff also leads to development of international team which could also include virtual teams and all of this this is something which generates organizational development so uh, multinational uh, assignments international assignments they become a driver of individual development as well as organizational development through these mechanisms so this is how learning of the persons of the individuals as well as learning of the organization takes place in international arena